So welcome to Vedic Mass Part Two online workshop. Uh, in today's session, we'll be covering four topics as it is listed here. First topic is multiplication by series of one. Second topic, multiplication vertically crosswise. Next, complement. And the fourth topic is Vinculum. These are the four topics we'll be covering today. Uh, those who have already done part one, okay, there are four common topics between part one and part two. So there will be a repetition of four topics for those who already completed part one. So we'll start with the first topic, multiplication by series of one. Okay, I posted the video of introduction to Vedic mathematics as considering that some of you are joined directly for part two, at least you should know basic history of Vedic mathematics. <clears throat> it is a very simple topic, but very useful. Sometimes it helps you a lot in specifically computer exams or when you are dividing or multiplying by 11 or any series of one. Okay, so let's start. Those who have done part one, we already covered this topic. 25 multiplied by one, one. Okay, topic here is series of one, meaning one number out of the two numbers in the multiplication will be all one, 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 and so here it is just 11 or one, one. Method is like this whatever is the last digit that you have to write as it is. Next step add digits 2 plus 5 that becomes middle digit and then first digit as it is that is the answer of this multiplication 275 last digit as it is add digit that becomes middle digit first digit as it is any doubt anybody wants me to repeat Try this and answer it in the chat box. Answer it in privately. Don't answer to everyone. 32 into 11. Answer privately. Answer to me only. My name is Sagar Sakurdekar. Just answer to that name. I shall correct uh, Adhiraj. You have to try again. How you can get last six, six there? Saish correct, Samarth correct, Adiraj try again, Parth correct, Adiraj correct now. Arav correct. Shubh correct. Okay, Adiraj, no problem. Uh, Maranya, how last it is three there? Adhiraj, sorry, Varanya is here. Last digit as it is. So last digit is 2 there. Here also, whatever is the last digit of number, that is the last digit of answer. Add digits, 3 plus 2 is 5. So middle digit is 5. And whatever is the first digit here, same thing will come in the answer. 352. Vedant, Varanya, is it clear? Any doubt? See your answer. Check why you have made mistake. Some professor correct. Try this forty five multiplied by one. Okay, arrow correct good. Samarth correct. Ashil correct. Oranya correct, Shu correct, Saish correct, good. So last digit is Sai Rudra correct, last digit is 5. 4 plus 5 is 9, that is the middle digit. And then first digit as it is 4. 4, 9, 5. Garbi correct. <coughs> Next. 75. Multiplied by 11. Now, Gargi. 
शुभ करेक्ट अधिराज करेक्ट आरोप करेक्ट दीक्षिता करेक्ट वेदांत ड्रैगन एशल टू ड्रैगन ओके यर सी अ ऑल ऑफ यू स्टॉप एंड सी अ लास्ट इट इज फाइव व्हेन यू ऐड डिजिट हियर सेवन प्लस फाइव यू गेट ट्वेल्व नाउ नोट दिस इज अ जनरल रूल दैट व्हेन एवर यू गेट टू डिजिट आंसर यू हैव टू राइट लास्ट डिजिट एंड एक्स्ट्रा डिजिट यू हैव टू कैरी सो दिस यू हैव टू कैरी and that will add to that last step here seven instead of seven seven plus that carry one eight any doubt hmm? so this you consider a general rule wherever you get two digit you have to write last digit extra digit you have to carry okay those were answered seven one two five is it clear hmm. okay this all more problems of this type Eighty-seven multiplied by eleven. Part good correct. Summer correct. Shoot you try again. Dikshita you try again. Sahish correct. Aro correct, Vedant correct, Ashal correct, Sai Rudra correct, Varanya correct. Some Prasad you would try again. See a seven. See when you get wrong, basically you make mistake in adding. Eight plus seven is fifteen, not fourteen. Some Prasad. Eight plus seven is fifteen, so five will come out of that. One will carry, and that will add to eight. Eight plus one, nine. Nine five seven is the correct answer. I'm sure, still there is a mistake. Eight plus seven is fifteen, so it will be five. Should any doubt? Eight plus seven is fifteen, so middle digit is five. One will carry. Eight plus one, nine. The answer is sixty-four multiplied by eleven. Part you will try again. Arav correct, Samarth correct, Shaiish correct, Sairudra correct, Ashil correct, Garki correct, Parth correct. Dikshita correct, Shub correct, Sam Prasad correct. Four, six plus four is ten. So you have to write last digit that is zero. One you have to carry here. Six plus one seven. Okay, okay, Tanish correct. So any doubt so far? So far we have taken two digit two ones. Now we will go for more digits. Before that, if you have a doubt in at this stage, you can ask. Now copy this note. If you just follow this note, you can work with any number of digits, any number of ones. The note says maximum number of digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. Okay, just copy this because it is very important in the sense if you just follow this, you can work. In general, with any number of digits, any number of ones. So now we'll go for three digits into two ones. At the end, you should be able to work with any number of digits, any number of ones, and that is possible just if you follow this rule. Maximum number of digits you are adding is equal to number of ones. Okay, see here. Now there are three digits and two ones. As per this rule, what it says is because there are two ones, you will be adding maximum two digits. Though there are three digits. First step same as what we have just studied. Last digit as it is. So last digit is three. Next step again is same. You have to add these two digits. One plus three, one 
प्लस थ्री फोर यू कैनॉट सी नोट अजीरा यू कैनॉट सी नोट ऑन द स्क्रीन I am not getting your message. Move slide means which slide you are referring to? Okay, you have copied. Just say yes if you have copied, Adiraj. Okay, now see here. Last digit as it is. Add this one plus three four. That is second last digit. Now, now concentrate fully on that node, which says that maximum digits you have to add is equal to number of one. There are two ones, so that is what we have reached maximum. When you reach maximum, and if there are still digits left, you have to remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. That means next you have to add this two plus one, three. And now that you have reached the left first digit, add it. So it is not that this is only extra step here. Three, one plus three is four. That is the maximum because there are two ones. And so when you reach maximum, if there are still digits to the left, remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. So two plus one is three. <laughs> Full note is not visible. Mm, why? Okay, I'll just read that uh, the note says uh, maximum number of digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. Is equal to number of ones. Mm, Arosia, last digit as it is, one plus three is four. Okay, maximum digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. So. Because it is two ones, maximum two digits. And there are still digits to left. Remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. So next you have to add two and one. That is three. And now we are reached to the first digit that you have to write as it is. Okay, Arav. Hmm. Try this. Four. This hmm. is some problem with the pen. This one later, there is some problem with the pen. Next, four, one, two multiplied by one, one. I try this and write answer in chat box. Four one two multiplied by one one. Yeah, I shall correct Adiraj correct, Parth correct, Sai Rudra correct, Dikshita correct, Vedant correct. Um, plus sat, correct. See you. Uh, stop now answering and check here. Yeah. Two, one plus two is three. There are two ones, so maximum two digit. Now I remove this and take this. Four plus one is five. And then four, four, five, three, two. Congratulations to all those who got correct. Try this. Two, three, four multiplied by one, one. Two, three, four multiplied by one, one. Samarth correct, Gargi correct, Saish correct, Arth correct, 
शुभ करेक्ट वरण्य करेक्ट वेदांत करेक्ट Okay. Next, try this. Seven five three multiplied by one one. I shall correct root. समर्थ करेक्ट रूट पार्थ करेक्ट शुभ करेक्ट पार्गी करेक्ट दीक्षिता करेक्ट तनिष करेक्ट साइश करेक्ट वेदांत करेक्ट गुड मेनी ऑफ यू फॉर करेक्ट लास्ट डिजिट थ्री फाइव प्लस थ्री इज एट नेक्स्ट इज सेवन प्लस फाइव इज ट्वेल्व यू आर स्टडी डेट इन जनरल डेट मेनी ऑफ यू गेट टू डिजिट आंसर Right, last digit, extra digit will carry seven plus that carry one eight. Answer is eight two eight three. Yes, so congratulations to all those who got correct. So now we'll go for three digit into three ones. Just to understand difference clearly, I'll purposely take the same numbers which are done with two ones. Now we'll do that with the three ones. First step same, last year as it is. Second step same. Okay, second step is just one and three you add. Okay. So now third step will be different here. Now here we are adding only two digit because there are two ones. Here there are three ones. So next step you have to add all three. So next step here will be. Two plus one plus three. Two plus one plus three. Six. We are adding all three digit. We are adding three digit because there are three ones which we were not adding, so that you can just compare and understand the basic rule. Now we are reached to the left means we have added all three. Now we have to reduce one by one. Remove this. Two plus one, three. Two plus one, three, and that first digit as it is. We just compare this answer and this answer. That middle digit is extra digit. We are adding all three. Three, one plus three is four. Two plus one plus three is six. Two plus one, three, and then two. Anybody wants me to repeat? Just say repeat in the chat. Always note that for first problem you write these steps. Otherwise, later on when you refer your notes, you will not understand anything. Okay, at least for the first problem, write these steps. So if you finish that first, try this. दीक्षिता वेरी गुड पार्थ करेक्ट समर्थ समर्थ करेक्ट साईश यू ट्राई अगेन साईश यू गेट फाइड की डांसर एशियल करेक्ट वरण्य करेक्ट तनिष करेक्ट या साई रुद्र करेक्ट कार्गी करेक्ट शुभ करेक्ट Okay, stop and see here. Last digit is two. One 
plus 2 is 3. Next, you add on 3. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Next, 4 plus 1, 5. And last, 4 as it is. 4, 5, 7, 3, 2. So, congratulations to all those who got correct. 2, 3, 4, multiplied by 1, 1, 1. Park correct, Gargi correct, uh, Ashel correct, Harav correct, Shu correct, Saish correct, Vidant correct, Sairudra, you will try again, Oranya correct, Sairudra, if you add it is nine. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9 it is. Panchan correct, Tanish correct, Samprasab correct. 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. Next, you have to add all 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay. Then 2 plus 3 is 5, and then 2. Two five nine seven four. Sairudra, is it okay? Any doubt? Varanya, very good. Gargi, very good. Aro, good, correct. Ikshita, correct. Ashal, correct. Samarth, there is a mistake slightly, check. Vedant, correct. Tanish, correct. Shub, check. One digit is a mistake. Sai Rudra, correct. Samprasa, correct. Three. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus three is eight. Okay. <coughs> Next. Five, sorry, seven plus five, twelve plus three, fifteen. So five out of that. Carry one. Next, seven plus five, twelve plus one, thirteen. So three, carry one again. Seven plus that carry one, eight. Eight, three, five, eight. <coughs> okay. So now we'll try it in general, any number of digits, any number of ones. Just note that you have to follow that rule. Maximum number of digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. Two, one, three, two. Multiplied by one, one. Let's see who gets this correct. The answer should be five digit. Only if you are getting five digit, you post the answer. Just follow this rule. When you reach maximum, if there are digits to the left, remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. You have to continue till you reach to the left. I shall correct very good. That means you understood in general. Those who get this correct means you understood it in general. So far only I, I shall has answered. Now, okay, Ara also has answered. Good, that's correct, Ara. Varanya, no. Shub, Shub, correct, good. Saish, no. 
Bargi correct good. Vedant correct good. Okay, see her now. All of you stop trying and see her. Two, three plus two is five. Now here there are only two ones. So maximum is two digit. When you reach maximum, if there are still digits to the left. Remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. So next is one plus three, that is four. Still there is a digit, remove this and take to the left, that is two. Two plus one is three and then two. Okay, so any doubt, those who have got wrong, just understand why you went wrong. Two, three plus two is five. One plus three plus two, sorry, uh, we are not adding three. I made a mistake. Two, three plus two is five. Maximum two digits because there are two ones. When you reach maximum, remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. So next is one and three, that is four. Then remove this three, take this two, two plus one, three, and then two. So now see here, I'm taking the same number and this time we'll multiply with the three ones. Now there are three ones, so maximum you have to add three digits. Try this. Answer should be six digits. So if you get six digits only, then you post. Answer of this should be six digit. Shub, correct, very good. Shub, Shub, you are correct. And Dikshita, you try again. Gargi, you have to try again. So far, only Shub is correct. Adiraj, no, Adiraj has shown me the five digit answer there. I said answer of this is six digit. Maximum, arrow good, correct. Samarth, good, correct. Three students have got correct. Tanish, you have to try again. Vedant, you'll try again. Okay, all of you see her now. Two, three plus two is five. See, understand that there's no chance of making a mistake if you follow the rule there. Two, three plus two, five. There are three ones. You'll have to add up to three. So one plus three plus two is six. And that is the maximum because there are three ones. So we have reached to the maximum. Now remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. So next is this. Understand that this problem and this problem is same. Two plus one plus three is six. And now we are reached to the left. You have to reduce. Next is just this two. Two plus one is three. And then two, two three, six, six, five, two. Those who have made a mistake, understand where you went wrong. Just see that you follow this rule. Maximum number of digits you have to add is equal to number of one. 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6, that is the maximum because there are 3 ones. Now remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. So 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. Next, 2 plus 1, 3, 2. Okay. Okay, I'll do one more problem and then we'll continue with the next topic. We are slightly slow right now. Try number of problems yourself. Check it with the calculator. If you are getting mistake and if you are not understanding, please post that problem in the group. No arrow, arrow, it should be six digit first. No Samarth. Samarth, uh, Samarth, you have got correct, very good Samarth. Samarth is first to get correct. Uh, Dikshita is correct. Uh, Shub, correct. Saish, correct. Parth, correct. It was sometimes difficult to check because answers go, go on scrolling. So you check yourself. 
2, stop doing and check. 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 2, 7. That is the maximum. Now you have to remove one digit from right, take one digit from left. 3 plus 1, 4 plus 4, 8. Then 3 plus, I'm not checking the answer on chat box now. 3 plus 1 is 4. That's why I said concentrate here. And then first digit as it is. 3, 4, 8, 7, 6, 2. Okay, congratulations to all. Many of you got correct. Congratulations. Some other check by everyone around. Okay, but see that you practice number of problems because of time constraint. I cannot take more problems. But practicing this problem is very easy. Take any number and second number should be one, 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 any number of ones. Okay, let's take one more problem, which let's see how many of you can do it correctly. 23 multiplied by one, one, one. Try this quickly. 23 multiplied by 111. You have got two digit number only, but three ones. And we say that maximum digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. So you have to make that first number three digit, which is very easy to do. Very good, Arok, correct. Varanya, no. Adiraj, no. So far, only Arok is correct. Answer should be four digit here. And Parth correct. Summer you have to try again. Samprasad you have to try again. Three you have got correct. See so here, maximum digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. There are three ones here. All of you see here now. Gargi, there is a problem. See so here, there are three ones, so you require three digits here. So put zero, any number of zeros to the left of the number does not change number. That is a basic rule you should understand. And now it becomes a simple problem of three digit into three ones. So three, two plus three is five. Then next you have to add all three digits. Zero plus two plus three is five. Next zero plus two is two. And first digit as it is now, zero, if you want to write it. Whether you write that zero or not does not make a difference. Two, five, five, three. The answer. Any doubt? Anybody has doubt here? Note that this simple problem of three digit into three ones by just putting zero to the left. If there are less digit, just put zeros and follow the normal rule. Okay. So practice number of problems. Um, sometimes this becomes very useful topic. Vedant, you want this to be repeated? Okay, this is one request for repeat. You can see that uh, this is a very simple. Uh, don't consider this uh, something different. There's nothing new here. Understand that way first. 23 into 1, 1, 1. Just with this main note, maximum digits you have to add is equal to number of ones. We want three digits here, but that many digits you have to add because there are three ones. And that you can actually just by putting zero. Any number of zeros to the left of number, number does not change. And now with this, it will be a simple problem like this. Three, two plus three is five. Zero plus two plus three is five. Next, zero plus two is two. And if you want, you write zero here. Whether you write zero or not, the answer does not change. Vedant, is it clear? Okay, any other question? Anybody has question? Anybody wants to put any question on this topic? But see that you practice number of combinations of this. Any number of digits, any number of ones, we should be able to solve. Next. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so that completes our first topic.
And now we'll move to the next topic, that is the second topic. Amortization vertically crosswise. Now, first very important point, what we should add. Yeah, uh, uh, Gargi, you have to try yourself. Because if you take that, our full one and a half hour will go only for a series of one topic. So practice, if you've got doubt, I'll clarify it later on. Okay. So we try any combinations. If you have got doubt, I'll explain you tomorrow. Or <clears throat> we have to limit the example because of time constraint, but then practicing and checking is very easy because you can use your calculator to check it. If you are getting mistake and if you are not understanding, definitely we'll discuss in the bit. So this is our next topic. This is a very important topic in the sense, this is a general method of multiplication. In Vedic maths, we have total seven methods of multiplication. Out of this, this method is a general method of multiplication. Okay, that's, why, like, that's why it is important. Like just now what we are referred is a multiplication topic, but that is specific only when there is one number, all one. This, for this, there is no condition. It can be for any number. For example, let's try this. Twenty-three multiplied by twenty-one. Okay, here there is no condition. See, this can be anything. All of you concentrate. The method is like this. First step: multiply this three into one. Always, as I said, first step: always write these steps. So, first step is cross, uh, vertically. That means you have to multiply this vertically. Next, crosswise. That's why the name vertically cross by this way and this way. Two into one plus three into two. This way and this way. So multiply and add. This is two. This is six. Two plus six is eight. That is a meter digit. And then last step is multiply digits at tens place. This vertical area. Two into two. Three multiplied by one is three. The first step is this. Second step is this plus this. Two plus six is eight. And last step, two into two. Anybody wants me to repeat? The steps are written clearly. First problem, I'll always copy these steps. Afterwards, you are supposed to do everything direct only. Any doubt? Anybody wants me to repeat? Just say repeat in the chat. Okay, all of you try this. 14 multiplied by 12. Correct, Gargi, correct, Saish, correct, Michelle, correct, Samarth, there is a mistake, check Samarth, Sai Rudra, correct, Dikshita, correct, Varanya, correct, 4 into 2 is 8, cross Twice, 1 into 2 is 2, 4 into 1 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, that is a middle digit. Last step is 1 into 1 is 1, 1, 6, 8. Okay. Next, try this. 23 multiplied by 32. Do this carefully. 23 multiplied by 32. Arav, correct, good. Dikshita, check your middle digit. Saish, correct, good. Parth, correct. Sai Rudra, correct. 
समर्थ करेक्ट वरण्या चेक फर्स्ट डिजिट कमिश करेक्ट अधिराज करेक्ट पंचन नौ वेतांत और यह लेटिंग दे सी आ थ्री इनटू ऑल ऑफ स्टॉप लाइन्स सी आ थ्री इनटू टू इस सिक्स फर्स्ट स्टेप इस दिस सेकंड वर्ड क्रॉसवाइज दिस वे एंड दिस वे टू इनटू टू इस फोर एंड थ्री इनटू थ्री इस नाइन दिस इस नाइन दिस इस फोर फोर प्लस नाइन इस थर्टीन from 13 we have to take 3 carry 1 for next step and next step and last step is 2 into 3 6 plus that carry 1 7 we done is it clear 3 into 2 is 6 4 plus 9 is 13 so 3 out of that carry 1 2 into 3 6 plus 1 7 Okay, so any doubt so far? Now we'll try to see how we can remember that easily. And for that, uh, you have to draw this pattern. Hmm? Crisscross pattern, copy this systematically. So what we have just done is two by two, meaning two digit by two digit. Now understand that dots here represent digits. So first step, as you know, we have done this. Second step, we have done this. And third step, we are done this. Okay, so this is what we already done, and now we we'll continue with three digit by three digit. And in general, you should be able to work with any number of digits multiplied by any number of digits. Actually, normally you don't require beyond four digit by four digit. We'll actually draw up to four by four, but you can continue for a higher number of digits also. Copy this and just say done in the chat box so that I'm clear. Copy systematically both this pattern and then just say done. See, now we are going to uh, go through again. Just copy this first. I'll explain again. Shall just copy this pattern systematically. I'll explain again this. What we are just finished, we have done three problems on this two by two, and now we are drawing this pattern. With this pattern, I'll explain. Okay, Samarit. Completed copying, just say done in the chat box so that okay, Tanish. Okay, I shall say, say, okay, so I'll just explain this two by two again. There are three steps and it's very clear with this pattern now here. So consider this example, say 23 multiplied by 12. Okay. So this problem is two digit by two digit. Okay, I shall see here. First step, multiply this. Three into two. Six. Just note that that is this step. Second step, crosswise. This way and this way. 2 into 2 is 4, 3 into 1 is 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. And last step here, this 2 into 1 is 2. Any doubt, Ashwin?
Ashin, just confirm that you are clear. You want to take one more example or we'll go to three by three. Okay. So now, if you just compare this pattern of three by three, all of you fully concentrated, I'll show you that though you see here five steps, there's only one new step here. If you just compare this step, it is same here. If you compare this step, it is same here. So first two steps of three by three are same as first two steps of two by two. Now, if you just consider the last two steps, they are same again. Last two steps here are same. So only third middle step always will be new step. So now from this three by three, you can easily draw four by four pattern. Four by four pattern will have seven steps. Steps will go on increasing by two. This is three steps. Here it is five steps. Next four digit by four digit, it will be seven steps. Five digit by five digit will be nine steps and so on. If you can understand this, it's very clear to draw any pattern. Now you can note other ways, there is a mirror image. If you just put a mirror here, middle of middle step, these steps will look like this. Okay, it's a mirror image. If you keep the mirror at the middle of middle step. Okay. So first step, multiply this. Second step, this. That is same as what you've done for two by two. Only this is a new step where there are three arrows, means three multiplication. Dots represent digits, arrows represents multiplication. Okay, I want to check whether you can solve this using this pattern yourself without explanation. I'll explain afterwards, but let's see how many of you can do without explanation. Solve this three digit by three digit problem using this pattern and write answer in chat. Uh, Ashil correct, good. Saish correct. Dikshita, you try again. Gargi correct. Dikshita, try again. Varanya, your know, second digit is wrong. Sai Rudra correct. Adiraj correct. Shu correct. Maro correct. Parth correct. Good. So many of you have got correct. Okay, so I just follow this pattern. 3 into 1 is 3. Next step, 1 into 1 is 1, 3 into 2 is 6, 1 plus 6 is 7. Third step, main step, there are three arrows, so three multiplication. 2 into 1 is 2, 3 into 1 is 3, 1 into 2 is 2. So 2 plus 3, 5 plus 2, 7. Next, fourth step, now you have to just multiply this. 2 into 2, 4, plus 1 into 1 is 1, 4 plus 1, 5. Last step two into one. So, congratulations to all those who are good. Correct. Anybody has still doubt? You can just say repeat. Okay. And those who have got this correct, try this one, two, three multiplied by two, one, two. Note that here I'm taking all digits smaller because if the digits are above five, we have got an easier method for those type of numbers. So when you're practicing this, you take the digits between zero to five only. You can practice bigger, no problem, but for that we have some other easier method. This is a general method, so it should work for any number. Saish, try again. Um, Ashil, correct. Gargi, correct. Aro, correct. Dikshita, correct. Parth, check second digit. Tamish, correct. Samarth, correct. Varanya, correct. Okay, stop now and see her. Huh? 
थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन नेक्स्ट टू प्लस सिक्स एट प्लस टू टेन दिस इज टू दिस इज सिक्स एट एंड दिस टू एट प्लस टू टेन सो जीरो कैरी वन वन प्लस फोर फाइव प्लस कैरी वन सिक्स एंड लास्ट है वन इंटू टू टू सिक्स जीरो सेवन सिक्स ओके सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस नंबर ऑफ मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ चेक इफ यू कैन ड्रॉ आई गिव सम टू मिनट्स चेक वेदर यू कैन ड्रॉ पैटर्न फॉर फोर बाय फोर ओके सो आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू फोर बाय फोर देर विल बी सेवन स्टेप्स फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेप्स विल बी सेम लास्ट थ्री स्टेप्स विल बी सेम ओनली न्यू स्टेप विल बी फोर्थ स्टेप जस्ट ड्रॉ फर्स्ट फोर डॉट्स बाय फोर डॉट सेवन टाइम्स first three steps will remain same last three steps will remain same only fourth will be new step compared with the pattern of 3 by 3 make attempt and then i'll show you make attempt to draw pattern Means once you can draw pattern for 4 by 4 you are ready for any pattern but as i said normally you don't require to be on 4 by 4 but you should be ready for any number of digits Will be seven steps for four digit by four digit. If anybody is done, just say done in the chat box. You have completed drawing pattern for four by four. Go Daro. चेक योर पैटर्न आई डिस्क्राइड नो पैटर्न फॉर फोर बाय फोर सो मेन स्टेप इज दिस स्टेप फोर्थ स्टेप इज ओनली न्यू स्टेप सो ऑल ऑफ दिस इयर आई ड्रॉइड फोर्थ स्टेप आई एल शो यू अगेन इयर That is this cross. The only one step which will cover all dots. Next, this. Next, this. So if you have got basically you have to check these steps. Others also should you should get correct, but that is just going to be copied. So if anybody has got this correct, just say correct in the chat box. Anybody got that pattern correct? Just say correct in the chat box. Good you, Gita, Varanya, Saish. Congratulations! If you got this correct, yes. So if you got this correct, you can easily draw higher also. Dikshita, mm -hmm. good. Now let's see how many of you can follow this pattern and answer this correctly. Two, one, three, two, multiplied by one, two, one, two. Now note that it's a four digit by four digit. You have got seven steps here. You should get seven digit answer. So just post only if you have got a seven digit in the answer. Answer should be seven digit.
Ikshita, very good. Um, Aro, there's a slight mistake. I have shown six digit answer first thing. Saish, correct, good. So, so far, Dikshita and Saish got correct. Atiraj, no. Sairudra, no. Shyam Prasad, no. Samarth, correct, good. So, three got correct so far. Part, correct. Yogita, correct. Ashal, there is slight mistake. Pananya, correct. Okay, check now. Stop answering. First step this 2 into 2 is 2. Second step 6 plus 2. This is 6, this is 2. 6 plus 2. Sorry, 2 into 2 is 4. I have it sorry first step two into two four second step six plus two eight third step this three multiplication two plus four six plus three nine two plus four six plus three nine fourth step is a main step there are four multiplication two into two four plus two six plus one seven plus six thirteen four plus two six plus one seven plus six thirteen so three carry one next you have to consider only this three see here last digits we are not considering two plus three five plus two seven plus one eight next only this two digits two digit by two digit four plus one five last step two into one 2, 5, 8, 3, 9, 8, 4 is the correct answer. Any doubt? And those who have got different answer, any doubt with you or you understood your mistake, then it's okay. If you have got doubt, you can. Garki, uh, this digit, maybe you're not added this, Garki. Okay. Any doubt? I just concentrate on what I'm writing here. Two, five, eight, three, nine, six, four. Two, five, eight, three, nine, seven, four. C. Two, five, eight, three, nine, eight, four. D. Two. Five eight three nine nine four. So I'm just uh, given four answers, possible answer A, B, C, D. Maybe for this problem, just imagine that this question is asked for some computer exam. And normally, computer exam, you have options A, B, C, D. You just select the correct option. You know the what is the correct answer because you already solved here. Okay, so C is the correct answer. But my question to all of you, which you should try and answer whatever you feel there is no correct or wrong answer here how much time you should take to answer this imagine this question is asked imagine this question is asked in the computer exam here we are solved don't consider that you have solved it and assuming that you are not solved you have to solve and answer it how much time it should take to answer this just write what you feel in the chat box i want answer from what first what do you feel? One minute, two minutes, whatever you feel you write. Okay, Arav Dikshita has answered. There's no correct or wrong answer here. What do you feel is the question. Okay, Garki. Okay, Sairutra. Okay, Saish. Parth, Parth, can you explain how you can solve it in 10 seconds? I got lowest answer, highest answer is 3 minutes and the lowest is 10 seconds. Parth, uh, Parth uh, can you explain how you can solve it in 10 seconds? That looks too less time. Parth, just can you put some point uh, there how you say that it is 10 seconds it is possible to solve? 
Parthas, I'm waiting for your answer. Parth has answered it as a 10 seconds, the time, 10 seconds. The highest figure is three minutes. Very good, Parth. Very good, Parth. That's that's correct. Now, if you just see, okay, Parth has identified the correct thing. Congratulations, Parth. That's what I wanted to check. So if you see all answers, only what I've done is second last digit is different here. So if you can identify this that only second last digit is different, you just have to perform this second step. This digit you get with the second step, and that is three into two six plus two is eight, and eight is appearing here, and that's why this is a correct answer. So understand that you don't require to solve the full problem to answer this. That's how you should use. For every digit, there is a step available. Only thing you should be careful about carry. Okay, so that you should be careful. Like in this case, very clear that there is no carry in the previous step. Okay, congratulations, Parth, that you identified. Others are clear. So Parth has identified, and that's why the correct answer is five to ten seconds if you use this concept. If you use this concept, you don't require to solve the full thing. You just require to know what is the second last digit. And for that, you just perform second step. Is it clear to all? Okay, now one more question before we go to the next. If you multiply three digit by three digit number, what can be maximum digits in the answer? Three digit by three digit, normally you get five digit. What will be maximum digits? Just answer in chat box. If you multiplied any three digit number by another three digit number, what will be maximum digits in the answer? So, Saish, so Ashal Aro Saish has answered, only three have answered. <coughs> yeah, correct answer is six, Aro and Saish. Congratulations. See here now, six is the correct answer. Uh, see, normal three by three, you'll get a five digit answer. Now, if there is, all of you see here, if there is anywhere double digit, like in this case, this 13 was a two digit answer, you write three and carry. So even if there are two digit answer, you write only one digit and extra carry. But imagine that last step you get double digit, that both digit you have to write. So that's why it is more one more than number of steps. So for two by two, maximum digits will be four in the answer. For three by three, it will be six. For four by four, it will be eight. Anybody has doubt? One more than number of steps. And the logic is very clear. If last step, there are two digits, you have to write both. Anywhere else you get two digits, we carry. Okay. So with this concept, actually, for any multiplication, you can know in advance how many digits will be there in the answer. You can understand. We just multiply this, and if you're getting single digit, it will be normal. If this gives you two digit answer, then it will be one more. Any any question on this? First, if you got questions, we have to practice number of problems. We have taken very limited examples because of time constraint. Practice number of examples. When you practice, it is okay if you just take the digits between zero to five, because for higher digit number, we have got another method of multiplication. Anybody has got a question on that, you can ask. We are going to next topic now. Complement, a very, very important topic. This is useful for many other topics, so study this thoroughly. Uh, two numbers are said to be complements of each other. If it adds to next nearest space, hope you can see it fully. Two numbers are said to be complements of each other if it adds to. Can you see it fully? Just say yes. I'll explain the meaning of that with the example. So right now you copy this. <laughs> okay, Samar. Two numbers are said to be, copy this quickly. Adds to next nearest base. For this, you should know what is base, and that is explained on the next line. Base refers to one followed by zeros, so power of 10. 
can be any number of zero. One followed by zero is called base. And rule for getting any complement of any number is just subtract all from 9, last from 10. This is actually sutra, all from 9, last from 10. Now, if you just go through this, can you answer this number plus its complement will give what? Just try and write it in chat box if you can. What should come here? Very good, Ashal. That's correct. Okay, this should be base. Any number plus its complement should give base. This is indirectly clear with the definition. Two numbers are said to be complements of each other. It adds to next nearest base. I'll explain this with example. If you just finished copying all notes, just say done so that uh, and decide for continuation. Just say that. Yeah, should sure, correct. Arvi, what is that cross? This has to be base. This has to be lowest value here will be 10. Highest, there is no limit. One followed by any number of zeros. Garvi, uh, I'm not getting your what is that X? It has to be base only. It cannot be anything else. That x, what is it? Any number plus its complement will be answer will be one followed by zeros. Now make two columns: number and complement. Say let's take number 68. So rule for complement is just subtract all from 9, last from 10. All of you concentrate here. Subtract all from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 6 is 3. Last from 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. So complement of 68 is 32. Let's try and check what is the complement of 32. 9 minus 3 is 6. Last from 10, 10 minus 2 is 8. And okay, now let's add this 68 plus 32. 8 plus 2 is 10, so 0, carry 1. 6 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10. And now we go through the definition. It's very, very clear with this. Garvey, it cannot be like that. Answer here has to be one followed by zeros. Just concentrate on that and still if you are not convinced, uh, we'll discuss it next time. Okay. But number plus its complement, say 68 plus 32 is 100. 32 plus 68. Number plus its complement, answer has to be one followed by zeros. So general answer, whether it is 10 or 100 or 1000 or 1 lakh, 1 crore, the answer is base. So it need not be just 10, it can be 10, it can be 100, it can be 1000. If it is two digit number, it will be 100. If it is three digit number, it will be 1000. If it is four digit number, it will be 10,000. If it is single digit number, it will be 10. That will be Okay, Gargi. Hmm. Okay, write complement of this in the chat box 74. All are clear with the definition. With this example, it should be very clear now. Just read and note that it is. It clearly explains. Yeah, are correct? 
Parth check, somewhat correct. Parth only last from 10, others from 9. Varanya correct, Sai Rudra correct, Adi, Ashel correct, Adiraj correct. 9, all from 9, only last from 10. 9 minus 7 is 2. And last from 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 26 is the answer. Just to check this answer is correct or wrong, just add. You can use calculator, add. And if you are getting 1 followed by zeros, that means it is correct. Try this 8, 1, 9. All from 9, only last from 10. Try to get the answer of 8, 1, 9. So, not correct, RO correct. Saish correct, Sairudra correct. Adhi Raj, you have to try again. Adhi Raj, I don't understand uh, any meaning of that answer. Check why you have done that. Subtract all from 9, last from 10. Adhi Raj, how you can get 7 here? 9 minus 8 is 1. Hmm. All of you see here. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. And last from 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 1, 8, 1. Shub, check. Adira Shub, is it clear to you? Just say yes if it is clear. Fast. Adiraj and Shub, just confirm if they are clear. Okay, Shub, Adiraj. Okay. Okay, so we'll continue the more examples. Calculate this first. 237 next number. All from 9, last from 10. 237. Yeah, special correct, part correct, somewhat correct. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 3 is 6. And last from 10, 10 minus 7 is 3. All from 9, last from 10. Forget it, just uh, rule for complement is subtract all from 9, last from 10. 9, sub, see, whatever big number it is, all digits you have to subtract from 9, only last from 10. 9 minus 2 is this 7. 9 minus 3 is this 6. And last from 10, 10 minus 7 is 3. If we add this both, it will be 1000 for sure. Gargi, is it clear? Okay, try this. Four, one, eight, five. Ashal, this is most useful topic. Even for cube root, we'll require to use this complement concept. Cube root you can do orally, but for that you require a single digit complement. Okay, it's a very, very useful. We'll be learning its use shortly. Next topic itself, we'll have a use of this. Most important topic, compliment. Gargi, last from 10. See, you have written 4 there. 10 minus 5 is 5. Gargi, all from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. And last from 10, 10 minus 5. Last only from 10, rest all from 10. Try this 6, 6, 6, 6. Yeah. 
somewhat correct, Ashil correct, uh, Sai Rudra correct, Gargi, how it can be three digit, it has to be four digit. Pranish, you are answering last answer and that is not correct. Last from 10 here. 10 minus 5 is 5. See, all from 9, last from 10. Only last year you have to subtract from 10. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. And last from 10, 10 minus 6 is 4. 3, 3, 3, 4. Okay. Try this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Being part correct. Summer correct, Ashen correct. 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 Should be able to try again. Last digit. See here. Nine minus one is eight. Nine minus two is seven. Nine minus three is six. Nine minus four is five. And last from ten. 10 minus 5 is 5. 8, 7, 6, 5, 5. Okay. Now see here. When there are zeros at the end, like say last from 10, 10 minus 0, you'll get 10. So easier way for doing this, just see here, is whenever there are zeros at the end, write that 0 as it is. And for remaining part, you apply all from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 2 is 7, last from 10, 10 minus 5 is 5. And you know that 250 plus 750 is 1000. When there are zeros at the end, write those zeros as it is. And for remaining part, apply all from that, last from 10. Try this now. Adiraj correct, Parth correct, Sai Rudra correct, Samarth no, Samarth see here, zeros you have to write as it is and for remaining you have to use all from there. For India you try again, should be correct, I shall how you got to, I shall see here, when there are zeros, that zero you put as it is and for remaining you apply all from nine last from ten. Nine minus eight is one. Last from ten. This zero is already written. So this is last read now. Ten minus seven is three. One three zero, not one two zero. I shall any doubt there. When there are zeros at the end, write those zeros as it is and for remaining part apply all from that last from 10. 28600. Try this carefully. 28600. Part very good, correct. Gargi, correct, good. Sai Rudra correct, Sai is correct, Ayo correct, Nikshita correct, Shub correct, Ashil you are not answered, Anish correct, Anchan correct, Samu Prasad correct, Ashil correct, Varanya correct. So, zeros, if there are zeros at the end of the number, those many zeros will come in the complement also. So, remaining part you have to apply all from 9 last from 10. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1. And now this becomes last. 
plus from 10, 10 minus 6 is 4. Okay. And then add, when you add, answer has to be 1 followed by zeros. In this case, there will be 5 zeros. So like this, you can check this again on calculator. Calculate complement, add both, and as long as you get answer 1 followed by zeros, it is correct. So zeros in the middle is normal situation. Now see here. 3, 0, 9, 6. Then all from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9, 9 minus 9 is 0. And last from 10. Try this. 0 in the middle is a normal. Corresponding to the zero, that nine will come there. Now see, here, nine minus six is three. Nine minus seven is two. Nine minus zero is nine, and last from ten. Okay, and we have got a very easy method to check it. Just add, and answer should be one followed by zeros. Okay, so next uh, we prepare a table of single digit complement. So make two columns like this, digit and complement. This is very, very, very important. We'll be using this particular point or this particular table in many places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So what is the complement of one? Just write complement of one in the chat box. Complement of one, yeah, correct. Or correct should correct. Yeah, I shall correct. So this is a single digit. So last digit, so you have to subtract from 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And you know the way to check it. 1 plus 9 is 10. So it's correct. 10 minus 2 is 8. This is 7. This is 6. This is 5. This is 4. This is 3. This is 2. And this is 1. Now again, you can just concentrate and understand the definition which says two numbers are said to be complements of each other if it adds to next nearest base. For single digit base is 10. So complement of one is nine. And if you see here last, complement of nine is one. Complement of two is eight. Complement of eight is two. Complement of three is seven. Complement of seven is three. Complement of four is six. Complement of six is four. Only for phi, it is same. Complement of phi is correct. Now, this part is very, very important where we say that it is possible in Vedic mathematics to solve any problem if you just know 1 to 5 table. Or in other words, using this concept of complement here, we'll be converting 6 to 4, 7 to 3, 8 to 2, 9 to 1, and get any number without digit 6, 7, 8, 9. How we'll study in the next talk. Any question at this stage that completes our complement topic? One more topic, we'll just quickly try to do it. It's already time up. I'll check just take a few more minutes. Any doubts here? Just remember this complement of six is four, complement of seven is three, complement of eight is two, complement of nine is one. This particular part is required for cube root also. Cube root also when you answer orally. You require to know this. It's a very, very useful topic or many applications we use complement. Okay, quickly, we'll try to fourth topic of today's session, Vinculum. Any number with at least one negative digit is called Vinculum number any number with at least one negative digit. That means within the number, some digits will be negative, which is not allowed in normal maths. Okay, This particular type of number is not allowed in normal maths. Here, we have a number which is partly positive, partly negative. And negative digit will be in between. And to represent that, we put dash, that is bar, on the top of the digit. Copy that.
this say done if you have finished and if you've got any doubts here this is number 319 in expanded form we write it as 3 into 100 you know, 3 is at 100 place 1 into 10 because 1 is at 10th place and 9 is at the units 1's place okay i hope all of you are clear with this now consider some new number which is wing coulomb number all of you concentrate now here 3 2 bar sorry sorry this is not 2 bar 3 2 bar 1 okay number is 3 2 is normal 1 is with a bar and this is a wing coulomb number as you can see here any number with at least one negative here 1 there is a bar Okay, so there is no bar on 2 here. Huh? 3, 2, bar 1. Now, let us expand this with this method. See here. 3 into 100. 3 is at 100 place. 2 is at 10th place. And this is not 1, but bar 1. That is minus 1 into 1. So, that if you expand now, this is 300. This is 20. Plus into minus is minus, 1 into 1 is 1. That gives you 320 minus 1, that is 319. Now understand that this, if you expand, it comes to 319. With this, understand that this number and this number is same. This number is a vinculum form of this number. So in vinculum, we can get the number without digits 6, 7, 8, 9. You can get any number without digits 6, 7, 8, 9. Wing Coulomb basically refers to any number with at least one negative digit. But using this concept, we can get any number without digits 6, 7, 9. As we just said, we will be using how we will use, we will study that. How we will convert, how to convert this to this, we will be studying. Complement of 7 is 3, complement of 8 is 2. And Complement of 9 is 1. Now see here that complement of 9 is 1. How we will do that? We will study shortly. But that is what we have used actually. Any questions so far? Right now, at, with this, whatever, whatever you have done, you should understand that both these numbers are same. How to convert this to this? We will study. Again, Winkulam is very, very important topic in the sense many problems can be solved easily with proper use of Winkulam concept when digits are higher. When you have got numbers with a higher digit that is 6, 7, 8, 9, that can be solved easily using Winkulam. Two columns, normal number. We now study how to get a column number or how to get any number without digits 6, 7, 8, 9. Normal number. Let's take the first example 3, 1, 9. All of you concentrate. Method goes like this you have to start from rightmost digit, go till the first digit. Wherever digits are above 5, meaning 6, 7, 8, 9, take its complement. Complement of 6 is 4, 7 is 3, 8 is 2, and 9 is 1. So 9 is the above 5, take complement. Complement of 9 is 1. Whenever you take complement, the rule says put dash on the top of it and add 1 to the previous digit. Previous digit here is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, 2 is less than 5, keep as it is. Next 3, less than 5, as it is. Only above 5 will get converted. Repeat, 9 above 5, take complement. Complement of 9 is 1. Whenever you take complement, put dash on the top of it and add 1 to the previous. Any doubt? Try this and write answer. When you write answer in the chat box, you just write a normal number. Dash, I will assume. If you have to answer this, you just answer it 3, 2, 1. Like that, 
right answer of this. Good part, correct, good. I should be able to try again. So far, part is correct, one and you try again. Dikshita, correct. Aro, correct. Ashal, correct. Gargi, you will try again. Adhiraj, you will try again. Samprasad, you will try again. See, here. 8 is above 5. Complement of 8 is 2. All of you see, here. stop now. 8 is above 5. Complement of 8 is 2. Put dash, add 1. 3 plus 1. Some have written five here. I don't know how it is. You have to add one. Whenever you take complement, previous digit, you have to increase by one. Add one is our one of the sutra. First digit two will remain as it is. Okay. Any doubt for those who got wrong? Yogita, Samprasad, check why you went wrong. Increase by one. Three increase by one is four. It cannot be five. Start from rightmost digit. Wherever digit is above five, take complement. Try this one seven four. No Sai Rudra, no Saish. Try again. No shoe. No garbage. Nobody has got correct so far. Samarth is first to the correct. Very good. Congratulations, Samarth. How all are getting wrong? Only Samarth so far. Only one has. Whereas, Ashal, wherever you convert, Previous digit you have to increase by one. See here, four is not above five. So four will remain as it is. Start from rightmost digit, wherever digits are above five, take complement. Four you have to write as it is because it is less than five. Five also will remain as it is. All of you see here now, don't answer in the chat box. Seven is above five. So seven you have to convert. Complement of seven is three. So Three will come here. Whenever you convert, you have to put dash on the top of it and add one to the previous. Four as it is because it is less than five. Five also will remain as it is. Only above five will get converted. Seven is above five. So take complement. Complement of seven is three. Put dash, add one. Ashal, your question is answered. Just say yes or no, Ashal. Okay. Okay, Ashal. Try this now. Two nine two. Two nine two. Part very good, correct. Yeah, somewhat correct. Okay, many got correct now. Two will remain as it is. Many got correct two. 9 is above 5, so take complement. Complement of 9 is 1. Put dash, add 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay. Try this 2718. 2718. Oh, yeah, Parth correct, Samarth correct, good. 
जितना करेक्ट फूड तो जितना करेक्ट साइज करेक्ट साइज रुद्रा यू ट्राई गेन सम प्रसाद करेक्ट गार्गी यू ट्राई गेन अनिश्चय यू ट्राई गेन वरन्या करेक्ट आरो यू ट्राई गेन से आवर एम हियर इन विंकुलम टू गेट अ नंबर विदाउट डिजिट सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन so when you convert to inkulam you should see that there is no 6789 should be able to try again okay see here 8 is above 5 so take complement put dash add 1 one. 1 one plus 1 is 2 7 is above 5 take complement put dash add 1 some of you are not converted at 7 So you have to start from rightmost digit. Wherever you get digit above five, you have to convert. Hmm. So check your mistake. So many times you have to print that. This is three. Whenever you take complement, you have to add one to the previous digit. Try this one nine three seven. Three three nine No pa. Ah, uh, sorry. Two. Mm. Yeah, correct. Parth correct. Samant correct. Parth Samant correct. Good. Shub correct. No baranya. No. See here. I said that you when you get the answer here, we uh, not having six, seven, eight, nine. If you got a six, seven, eight, nine, that means you are not converted properly because our aim here is convert all digits above five. So many of you are still answering with the digit six, seven, eight, nine. Seven is above five. Take complement. Put dash. Add one. Three plus one is four. Whenever you take complement, you have to put dash and add one to the previous. Nine is above five. Take complement. Put dash. Add one. One plus one is two. Two bar one. Four bar three. Say congratulations to all those who got correct. Two nine three eight. Two nine three eight. Do this correctly. Yeah, part correct. You get the correct shoot correct. Correct. Tanish, correct. Eight is above five, so take complement. Put dash. Add one. Three plus one is four. Nine is above five. Take complement. Put dash. Add one. Two plus one. Three. Three bar one. Four bar two. okay so we'll continue with this topic tomorrow we'll stop for today okay so try to practice we'll continue and i'll also tell you how to practice more to all of yourself